Welcome back to Nessie Out of Water. I am Janelle and today we are talking about the time I got ripped off in Paris. So I was traveling with my mom, my dad, and my husband and we landed in Paris and I am on my phone trying not to raise an alarm but our Airbnb host is not responding to my messages. And I've been messaging him for um, like three or four days at this point and he's not responding. I have no idea where we're supposed to go. It's very frustrating. We have nowhere to stay. I don't know what to do. So I end up calling Airbnb. And after several calls, they got us all sorted and they refunded the money and they gave us an extra $100 to put towards a hotel which was very generous thanks Airbnb and unfortunately though it was already dark outside the Sun was gone Eiffel Tower was lit up it was nighttime okay so I'm on my phone and I'm looking for hotels and I'm trying to find something in the same area we were going to stay in which was Montmartre because I know that area and uh, I want to be stationed somewhere that I know especially going late at night I want to know where we're going so I find this hotel and it's right in our price range. Uh, I think we had to spend like an extra hundred dollars between the four of us. And so we make our way to the hotel and we get checked in and everything seems fine. And they're telling us about their breakfast and this complimentary wine bar that they have and complimentary coffee and complimentary, complimentary, complimentary. Okay, you with me? We go up to our room and it's castle themed, like fake castle walls on the wall. It's like, it's a wallpaper, okay? And then there's red velvet everywhere. There's red velvet bed sheets, red velvet curtains, red velvet couch, but we were fine. We're happy, we have a place to stay. Uh, so what, somebody has to sleep on the sofa pull out. We're good. We aren't homeless tonight in Paris. This is all we could ask for. Perfect. We go out later that night. We go see the Eiffel Tower. We walk around a little bit. We come back to our room. We're exhausted. We go to sleep. The next day, we wake up. I might have planned out the entire day. So within five hours, they saw, I think, 27 different sites around Paris. So, uh, yeah. So people were tired. People were a little mad at me, but they saw Paris and all was good. We rested, we watched some French TV, and the next morning we were leaving. So it was a very short trip in Paris. Fast forward through the night, we wake up, we pack all of our stuff, we go downstairs, and my parents are like, hey, let's go to the breakfast bar, let's get some breakfast so we don't have to pay for it later, and we will go to the train station then and head out. And I'm like, okay, fine, you know, sure, we can grab something quick, that's fine. So we go into this room where the breakfast bar is set up. It's all pretty basic. There's, it's French basic, okay. There's croissants and cheeses and hams and eggs and coffee juices. You know, it's basic complimentary breakfast bar stuff, okay? Yeah, it's complimentary breakfast bar. Anyway, I am impatient and I'm in a hurry. So my parents are eating eggs and my husband's eating yogurt and I grab a banana. So everybody finishes eating while I patiently wait for them. And we are walking out of the hotel and the lady behind the desk says, Mademoiselle. I'm like, oui. And she says, your bill. And I said, no, we paid that when we came. We already paid you. We already paid you. And she says, oh no, this is for the breakfast. For the breakfast? I ask her and she's like, oui, oui. You have to pay for the breakfast. And I'm like, hold on, hold on. At no point did you tell us that breakfast wasn't included. You have this free wine bar and free coffee bar and 
You want me to check then? You said breakfast is served in the room. Seriously, we have to pay for this? Okay, whatever. It's probably six euros, eight euros a person. That's fine. She hands us our bill. They charged us 80 euros for what? For the banana I ate, the yogurt my husband ate, and the eggs my parents ate. And I'm just staring at this person like, you can't be serious. Like, 20 euros a person? I ate a banana. It wasn't even organic. So my mom footed the bill and we left and that was a complete nightmare. Like from not having a place to stay to staying somewhere that was so, how I'm going to call this castle retro, okay? It was so castle retro and not in a good way. And then to having to pay 80 euros for our breakfast and, I mean, we're traveling on a budget. 80 euros, that's almost what we paid for our Airbnb to start with. <sighs> Moral of the story is to always ask if something's included. Uh, I, think, I think our problem was we heard complimentary come from their mouths so many times that it just factored into our brains that the breakfast was complimentary also. And in what world is it not? This was not a fancy hotel by any means. It was actually really janky. Just always ask if it's free. Go on Google if you have to and translate it so you know how to say it. You can make Google say the word for you. Just always double check that something is free or included because we really felt like we got scammed on this breakfast. Uh, nobody told us that it was not included in our stay and it really kind of ruined the rest of our trip subconsciously. We tried not to let it, but it's always in the back of your mind like, oh, I just wasted 80 euro, basically like a hundred dollars. I just wasted this. So be careful, have fun out there, keep your money close and your friends closer and always ask if it's included. If you haven't already, please hit the like button so I know that you don't absolutely hate my guts. I wish that was on on YouTube because that would be really disheartening and I need to be able to do this because I need a life. And hit subscribe so that you see whenever I post an update. Thanks again. See you guys next time.